Right, so quick and dirty recording of how I'm going to do the tokens that I wanted to do. So you can see here, I've got my pre-existing template that I've been using. There's my token app. So we'll just do that. And so I've labeled up the act image. I'm going to create a new data set. I'm going to call this actor image. And we're going to go and we're going to do the data set. So we're going to import that from a file. So this is to do all the tokens for Alien Archive number two. Oh, so I'm just going to select one file. And that's going to be that. So we're going to do that. And we're going to import the data set from the text file. So I'm going to create a new folder here called PSDs. Tokens. Now I'm going to export data sets as files using the data set name. And we're going to export that to the PSD folder I've just created. And this is where the magic happens. We're going to hit go. And so what this is going to do is it's going to create me a PSD file for every one of the images in this folder. They're all transparent PS, uh, WebP files. And it's going to put them right in the center of this ring. So previously, I've just been changing this image in this group. So it sits within the frame and then tweaking it and then exporting it and then going again with a new image. But it means that our template just gets gets used all the time. But this way, we'll show you in a second. So that's completed. So we now go to this PSD file and you can see all of these, oh, I should have renamed it. Let's do that again. Delete all of them. Go back to this. Okay, find and replace. So E. that with nothing and then replace that with nothing And see, they still say webp.pst, but I can deal with that post creation. You can see it's going through all of them.
and close this one. Don't save it. One to here. Let's take. Which of these do I like the most? Mm, the Kualu. Let's take the Kualu. There we go. We've got a token. We can tweak this a little bit. Make his eyes come out a little bit. But duplicate this layer. Bring it up to here so it sits above the token frame. See, it's not too bad. Turn on the background. Delete everything we want to stay inside the token. Let's turn off the effects on that layer. And it just leaves his eyes poking out the top. So I'm probably going to zoom in. Add up this a little bit so that the blue glow doesn't go everywhere. So this is a uh, artifacting from the transparency layer on the image itself. So you can see the blue glow from the token frame is still there. And we're not deleting that. And we'll leave that like it is. And we go to this layer. Nope, that's not what to do. So that's going to be on that layer itself. And then when we're done, save a copy. And we'll save it as. Kualu Web PB Copy PSD or not Web P. And then post conversion, I'll go in. Oh, I hate it when it doesn't have OneDrive integration. that and we just replace dot web p copy with nothing and we just end up with and then we'll add a suffix of t in fact underscore t for token but you can do that Literally, instead of just one file, you do that for everything in there. So every one of these, in fact, we could go through and we could get the .webpb off there. But in fact, yeah, let's do that. Go to the PSDs. And it can already add the underscore T. No, because it's going to, no, we won't do that because it's still going to add the copy anyway. So we're still going to need to go in and do that. Yeah, that, that's how I'm doing my token. So that's how I did, well, that's not how I did the Alien Archives ones, but that's how I did all of the ship tokens. So every ship inside the Starfinder Foundry system that has a stat block, that has artwork, I have created a token for with a custom frame and a custom background. And then inside Foundry itself, use a little bit of module uh, magic. 
ganz so alt. See here, this has got my Alien Archive tokens on import. Some of the stuff I've imported, but you don't even need to import it to see that it's worked. So everyone that I've imported, you can see now has artwork because of the module that's linking it all together. If we go to Starships, you can see there again, there's a couple that I didn't have at the time and a couple that I don't own the uh, adventure path that they come from, so I don't have the artwork for them. And a couple I don't know where they come from, so but you can see every single one that's got artwork there. If we were to drag it out onto the canvas, it has my token frame already to go. Uh, and I have them painted pointing down so that in the games that I use about face, as soon as you move it, it rotates the forward arc there to match the direction of movement. But I don't have that configured on this game yet. But yeah, that's how we do it. And that's relatively straightforward. Took a little bit of tweaking to get ready. So you can just uh, rotate manually. So there we go. Hope you like.